Hey there. Today, we're diving into The Bridge at Remagen, a movie from back in 1969. It's a war film set during World War II, focusing on a crucial bridge in Germany. This movie features some classic Hollywood actors giving solid performances. So, who's your favorite among them? Drop your answer in the comments below. Now, here's the kicker. This movie isn't just action-packed. It's got its fair share of funny, shocking, and sad moments. So, if you're in for a roller coaster ride of emotions, keep watching. And hey, do you have any cherished memories associated with this movie? Maybe it's a cozy movie night with family or friends, or perhaps something else entirely. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't forget to share your thoughts with us. In 1969, audiences were drawn to a compelling war film set during World War II. The story revolved around a group of American soldiers striving to secure a vital bridge in Germany. Positioned in the town of Ermagen, this bridge held immense strategic value, becoming a pivotal battleground between American and German forces. Throughout the movie, viewers witnessed the bravery and sacrifices of the soldiers shedding light on the harsh realities of war. As the character struggles unfolded, audiences gained a deeper understanding of the human toll of conflict. The film served as a poignant reminder of the courage displayed by those who fought during World War II. During its time, the movie garnered praise for its realistic portrayal of combat and emotional depth. Its release coincided with a surge in interest in World War II themed films, solidifying its place in cinematic history. With its gripping narrative and memorable characters, the film continues to resonate as a classic war story, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. It reminds us of the sacrifices made by those who fought for freedom. In 1969, amidst the realm of cinema, a significant war film emerged, embedding itself into history. As the actors embarked on their journeys, real-life struggles added layers to the unfolding drama. One of the key players in the ensemble faced a formidable personal battle off-camera. He confronted throat cancer in 1999 and during a challenging treatment that saw him shedding more than 40 pounds. His resilience mirrored the grit displayed by his on-screen persona. Another integral figure in the cast left a curious footnote in his life story. In a 1997 interview, he revealed that the widely accepted birth year of 1910 was inaccurate, asserting that 1914 marked the true beginning of his life, correcting a long-standing discrepancy in historical accounts. A presence that left a lasting impression on the film concluded his earthly journey with a unique departure. Following his passing, he was cremated, and his ashes found a resting place within the confines of family ties. It was a departure as straightforward and unadorned as the characters he portrayed. The actors, each facing their own realities, contributed to the essence of the movie. Their performances resonated with audiences, enriching the narrative. The contrast between the on-screen battles and the personal struggles off-camera added depth to the story. During the filming of the bridge at Remagen, some jeeps featured a vertical bar on the front to counter enemy tactics. These bars were designed to cut fine wires set between trees to decapitate soldiers. In an interview, e.g., Marshall explained that his initials, e.g., stood for everybody's guess. Robert Vaughn, upon receiving the script for Silver Streak, expressed interest in playing Roger DeVerro, but found out Patrick McGuhan had already accepted the role. However, it was later revealed that the script had been sent to Vaughn by mistake. He was invited to watch the production and formed a friendship with Gene Wilder. Peter Van Eyck, known for his role in The Bridge at Remagen, had diverse talents. In his early days, he wrote cabaret reviews and played piano at bars. Robert Vaughn, another actor in the film, had an interesting family history. Although it was believed for many years that he was the biological father of English film director Matthew Vaughn, a paternity investigation later revealed the truth. George Devere Drummond, an English aristocrat, was identified as Matthew's father. Vaughn had asked for the child's surname to be Vaughn, which Matthew continues to use professionally. George Siegel, who was also cast in the film, made a last-minute decision to pull out of another Project 10 when he realized he wasn't right for the role, just four days before shooting was due to begin. These actors, each with their own unique background and experiences, contributed to the success of The Bridge at Remagen. The film has an average shot length of approximately 63 seconds, with George Segal starring in it. Segal had previously appeared in four films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, including The Longest Day, Ship of Fools, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, and A Touch of Class. Additionally, Robert Vaughn, who also stars in the film, guest starred on the scripted podcast Western Powder Burns in the fourth episode, which aired on the same weekend The Man from U.N.C.L.E. premiered. 
Bond's appearance on the podcast coincided with the release of the 2015 film. United Artists undertook a $250,000 project to blast a tunnel on the east side of the Vieltava River in the town of Davel, Czech Republic. Bradford Dillman, who starred in the movie, passed away shortly after Heather Menzies Urich, his co-star in Piranha. VG. Marshall, another cast member, was known for his serious roles, but had a playful side, often pulling pranks on his colleagues, including ad-libbing profane jokes during filming. In the late 1960s, a war drama hit the screens, featuring actors like E.G. Marshall and George Siegel. Marshall, known for his political activism, endorsed liberal Democrats during elections. Interestingly, he had a surprising educational background, attending Mechanic Arts High School instead of the previously thought Carleton College. Meanwhile, Siegel's passing, closely followed by his co-star Jessica Walter, added a poignant layer to their shared screen history. These details offer insight into the lives of those involved in the movie beyond their on-screen roles. Bradford Dillman shares his birthday with Jay Robinson, known for Dr. Shrinker. Robert Vaughn, recognized for his later career in advertisements, often used the slogan, tell them you mean business. B.G. Marshall portrayed a military prosecutor in both the Kane Mutiny and Town Without Pity. These actors contributed to the diverse cast of the bridge at Remagen, each bringing their unique talents to the film. Their performances added depth to the portrayal of characters and situations in the movie, enriching the overall narrative and capturing the essence of wartime drama. Disillusioned with America during the late 1960s, Robert Vaughn sought refuge in his craft amid the Vietnam conflict. Meanwhile, the bridge chosen for filming, located in Davel, Czech Republic, fell short by 100M compared to the authentic Ludendorff Bridge at Remagerl George Siegel, a graduate of George School in Newtown, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, further enriched the cast with his presence. Each element contributed to the cinematic portrayal without losing sight of its historical context. In one of the first films to be shot behind the Iron Curtain, Robert Vaughn, known for his roles in significant films like The Ten Commandments, The Magnificent Seven, and Bullet starred in the bridge at Remagerl. The movie was filmed in Czechoslovakia, which was viewed suspiciously by Russia for its liberal values. Soviet agents spread rumors that American soldiers in the film were real fueling justifications for a potential invasion. Vaughn, notable for playing Napoleon Solo across multiple series, brought depth to his character in this wartime drama. Amidst the political tensions, Czech students portrayed many American soldiers, blurring the lines between reality and fiction on screen. Despite the challenges, the bridge at Remagen stands as a testament to Vaughn's versatility as an actor and the film's significance in cinematic history.